What's up Legionnaires welcome to another video in today's video I'm going to be showcasing how you can install the new full Xbox experience on your Lenovo Legion Go. This is the UI that should be coming to the new Xbox RG Ally. We can actually utilize that here on the Legion Go and in today's video I'm going to showcase how you can do this so if that's something you guys were interested in make sure you hit the like button subscribe to the channel. Let's get right into this video. All right so to give you guys the disclaimer in order for this to work you have to be in windows version 25 h2 in dev mode which means if you do it this way you actually will have to factory reset to get it back to the normal windows so that is my disclaimer but if you guys were interested and want to move forward let's get right into it so the first thing you want to do is make sure that you are into the windows inside the program so just go to search and search windows inside the program you should see right here so it's going to ask you to become a member so go through that whole process become a member i'm already a member so you see right here so once you do that it's going to give you the option to download the latest version here and i'm telling you guys it takes about 30 minutes to do so so be patient while that whole process goes through now once you're done with that, if you're lucky enough you can come here and go to settings and see if you are eligible so if you go to settings and if you go to gaming and you have access to this full screen experience that means you're good to go you don't have to do anything else all you have to do is just open up the xbox app and you're good to go but if that's not the case you're going to need to follow this method so shout outs to this redditor i'll post the link in the description but this is it right here so as you can see here so first you want to download the Vive tool you want to extract it and then you want to enter these two commands so I'll post this link in the description to where you can download the Vive tool so as you can see here this is the Vive tool so after you download the Vive tool this part is really important next you want to extract the Vive tool so as you can see here I have mine downloaded here so I'm going to extract it but I really encourage you guys when you are extracting it to extract it to your C drive here because that's how the command will work. So again, go to this PC, go to C drive and then go to select folder. So next you want to hit browse here and then you want to create a new folder here like I did. Go to new here, create a new folder and name it Vive tool like I have here. So once you do so, you then go into select this folder to extract everything in. And so that is how you do that part. Next, you want to open up command prompt like you see right here. So hold on command prompt right here and run as admin. Hit yes here and then you go into and then you're going to be brought to this. So the first command is you want to enter CD. You want to access space backslash button here, right? It tells you now it has access to, it tells you now it has access to the C drive. Next, you want to do CD space Vive tool. And hit and so I entered it wrong the first time I did VR VR tool instead of Vive tool. So I redid it. See the Vive tool, hit enter. Again, it's able to find the folder. So once you do this now, it's where you want to copy and paste those two commands. So we're going to open up that Reddit again. All right. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to come here. We're going to come here. We're going to copy this, like you see right here. We're going to go back to the command. And we're going to paste it here hit enter it tells us it's successful next we are going to go back to that site and we're going to copy the second part here and we're going to again come back to the command prompt and then we're going to paste it on here as well it's not showing paste then again when you paste that it should say the same thing successful set feature and then you should be good to go. All you have to do next is just close this out. Next, you want to follow this step here. Open up registry editor. So we're going to come here, go to search. We're going to open this up. Now it's important that you follow this as it is here. Again, go to my computer, go to uh, H key local machine, 
go to software, go to Microsoft, go to Windows NT, go to current, go to OME. And once you do so, you see I'm in OME, it leads you here. Next, you want to double click the device form, this one here, and then make sure that you enter 2E here. Normally set 2, change that to 2E and hit OK. Next, close everything now. All you have to do is just restart your Legion Go. Come here and restart it and then you're good to go. Next, if you just open this up and if you go to settings and if you go to gaming now, you should have the full screen experience right here. And with this now, you can choose Xbox here. Instead of none, make sure you choose Xbox, enter full screen at launch and all that good stuff. So if you now open up the Xbox app, you should have access to this. All right, so once you do so now, you should have access to the new Xbox UI app here, which is pretty fun. I'm playing around with this and I'm having a good time. You guys let me know, did you guys find this helpful? And yeah, what are your thoughts on this? Appreciate you guys. We'll catch you guys in the next one. Until next time, peace out.